Hey, you know what time it is? Seven's The beat <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Beatdown. I'm your host, Class. This is my co-host. Mr. J. Yeah, yeah guys. And we're back at it again. We got the final finalist for our tournament. Finally. Hey, we, and let me let me go through the list because there's a pretty big list here. Um, here were the characters that we had competing in this competition. We had Superman. We had Colossus. Yeah. We had Doomsday. We had Shazam. We had Thor. We had Killer Croc. And of course, we had Hulk. And Juggernaut. Yep. So, now the finalists are Hulk and Juggernaut. It's, honestly, at first, we were just talking about the Superman and Juggernaut, uh, like, debate we had yeah. for the Beatdown episode on that one. We were, at first, we were, I'm not going to lie, it was hard to think that Juggernaut advanced, but then it started making sense. We watched this real recent episode, it started making more sense, magic. He, Superman's, like, we're kind of weakened, not weakened, but he can't really... Basically, we saw a video to someone explained it better to us. Yes, yes, <laughs> much, much more, much more educated in the comic yes. realms. Yes, much respect for uh, Variant Comics. The shout out for you, Medic. They're they're definitely smarter than we are. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but as far as uh, you know, when we like to make our our arguments, we like to make them well. So here are the two finalists. We have I got on my corner the unstoppable Juggernaut, and in your corner, who do you got? I do have the Incredible Hulk. Ugh. All right, so this is a big one. Yeah. So, two great powerhouse, two very strong characters. If you know about them, planet Hulk has broken a planet by stepping on it with one footstep. With one footstep, Juggernaut. I mean, he punched a hole in like fabric of reality space or time, space, space time, and, and I mean that. I don't know how that works. But, yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand the the mechanics of that. But, but the idea, I guess, is it's pretty goddamn strong. Yeah, pretty, you know, pretty like strong indeed. I mean, it, it's almost like if you were gonna make the case, like randomly saying, like this guy punched you so hard, you traveled back in time into an infant. It's like that don't make any <laughs> sense. But at the same time, you're like, oh crap, he hit you that hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you wanna go first or should I? I'm wearing cold colors. Look at that. Yeah, it, it, it's very interesting. It's I was very like, green. I was just realizing. Like, I thought oh. he was going for the Hulk. <laughs> uh, I will let you go first. All right. I usually do. I'll try to counter. <laughs> All right. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Juggernaut and Hulk are pretty two strong people. They've actually, in the comics, have gone against each other and they had several a stalemate. Times. Yeah, and they've gone several times against each other. And one of the moments was a stalemate. Um, how it turned out, how Hulk won that battle, to me wasn't really that, like, in decisive, Im impressive. I guess you, I would say, like it wasn't like, oh, it was great execution. It was more like, oh, he, he just kind of figured a way around it. It, it, was, it was, it was more <laughs> like a clever little like, hey. Yeah. yeah so I was like, that, that I didn't, I didn't like, but. To explain that, what happened in the comic was when they did have the stalemate, he decided, well, you can't stop the Juggernaut, just let him go. It's, and it's he a... just simply stepped to the side <laughs> and let him keep running. It's almost like that's, if you were going to... That's why I did that little move. So, <laughs> so like, like, why why did he do that? Like, I don't get it. You know? So, yeah, that's the thing about the Juggernaut. It was like, it was a stalemate at that moment, so I don't think we can really consider that a very great defeat. It ha this one has to be to the death, pretty much. We like to have our fighters beat someone to at least to their end. We don't like to give them the, you know, stalemate where it's like, oh, at you know. At least the knockout, you know. Yeah, I mean? somebody's got to <laughs> knock someone out. Or if yeah. not, if it's a tie and it's a tie, we know it's because it's just no way around finding out who could knock who out. But we're really more, we really make our case for one winner. Yeah. So, starting with Juggernaut. Juggernaut has this magical helmet that makes him really strong. He can even go another level, which I was finding out about, which is crazy. Um, but I don't think we're going to use that character. We're just going to stick it to Juggernaut and Hulk going toe-to-toe, mano-to-mano. Now, as far as fist-wise, these two guys are going to throw down each other. But funny thing is, Juggernaut can hit this guy so hard, blood comes out of Hulk. It is impossible to get any almost blood out of Hulk. It's, it's almost like getting out of Thanos. It's kind of not that easy. You have to really beat the holy crap out of them before any of that even spills a little. Just yeah. get a little smidge. But Juggernaut has done it. 
And because of that, I gotta say, unstoppable. That's where it becomes more interesting. Going against Hulk, it's just finding a surface or something to hold Hulk while he is beating the crap out of him. He's got to go in a small little environment and just freaking throw fist to fist with Hulk because at least we know that he will bleed. And how much blood will be taken out of Hulk? I don't know. I mean, Hulk can regenerate too, so that's probably going to be a really tricky thing to do. But that's where Juggernaut's going to have to try to, you know, like you're trying to tenderize your meat, trying to soften it. That's what he's got to do. He's going to have to tenderize that meat. Just so that way he can rip maybe some bone off or something. I don't know. He's going to have to try to find a way to take Hulk apart. I don't think that's the only way you really can beat him. Like, And you see in the comics, Ju uh, Hulk doesn't get defeated. There's this one character that kind of shoots some kind of like laser or some kind of being at him. And is ripping his skin off and everything like that. And he's still bone and he's still moving forward and everything like that. Oh, yeah. I was you remember that? Yeah. So... Yeah, I feel like if he still has his original body, he can. Beyond it, right? Yeah, I believe I don't I don't remember, but uh, if he if he has his original body, I believe he can regenerate. I don't know if you take a limb off of Hulk, that he can regenerate a new arm. I think he can. I don't I don't know about that for sure. I know I think Wolverine can. Um, I don't really know. Actually, no, I don't even know that either. I think he can. The interesting thing with Logan is just like you got to think of how difficult it would be to separate his limb. Yeah. The, the bones. Yeah, and amantium and all that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that's the thing. Like, I don't know how it'd be. <laughs> Sidetrack. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about Hulk. I don't know if he regenerates a new arm or anything like that. I think he would. Or a new limb. I don't. I maybe he could. I think. If he can regenerate his skin, I just don't know if he can regenerate a limb. Uh, that's where it gets a little tricky because that's how Juggernaut. Well, he, yeah. No, because he was melted down to complete bone. And most of his muscle mass. And the muscle mass came back, remember? Yeah, yeah. Almost instantly. Well, that's the thing, but I'm wondering if... I mean, if it takes if he takes the bone off. If he just takes that, apish, that official bone right the hell off, will it be able to recreate a new bone? I want to say yes. I, yeah, I want to I wanna say maybe it can happen. So, the like, the other way Juggernaut could beat him is he's got to hit him head. That's pretty much where the strength's going to be at because he's going to have to, like, level this dude up. Now, if he's able to get blood out of him, I'm pretty sure he can cause enough of a head drama. Enough maybe to get Banner out. Mm. I, now, that's where it gets interesting. Yeah, now, I if don't he, know if you want to do that. <laughs> now, if he hits Hulk repeatedly, gets him in a very small environment where he can't go anywhere. Like, Hulk has to push this guy forward in order to be able to stop him from doing what he's going to do. But if Juggernaut is up close range and he is hitting him with everything and he's bashing his head in... I got to think that at one point Hulk is going to turn into Banner. And the smart guy is going to be meat. Dead meat. Because that's where Juggernaut thrives because obviously a puny human is going to do his... That's it. Game over. So I think the way Juggernaut beats this guy is hitting him repeatedly around head traumas. Because that's the best way to do it. Because Juggernaut can go head and headbutt with Hulk. And he has that helmet to protect him. I think that's where the strength comes in because the magic will protect him. And this is science versus magic. And I got to think magic is going to be science in this level. But that's my opinion. Right you know? on. Well, my counter, I guess, would be if you separate or find a way to separate the Hulk from, uh, from Bruce Banner, that is definitely a pony you're not going to want to have to go up against. Because there's there's no Bruce Banner there, there's no human, there's no conscience, there's nothing there to stop the Hulk from just ripping Juggernaut, you know, apart. You know, he's just gonna be full rage, just completely consumed by it, and he's just gonna go completely 100% for the Juggernaut. Would Bruce Banner be easier to kill in that point? Yes, he would, but the that's not really the case, you know that we're trying to make we're trying to you know the opponent is the Hulk not Bruce Banner yes even though they are the same yes they are one and the same yeah I'm just beating I'm just going on a technicality yeah I mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> for this yeah. final round that's the only thing I can do at this point just very strong um, characters <laughs> yeah I think the Hulk as a matter of fact while being separated from Bruce Banner 
uh, he punched Onslaught so hard that he cracked his armor. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can see that. I think it already destroyed his armor. So, like, if he could do something like that, maybe he can destroy Juggernaut's helmet, take it away from him, you know, chuck it as far as he can, and maybe that, you know, taking away the power in the jewel, I do believe, used to have that ability to where it nullifies Juggernaut's abilities, or maybe lessens them. Yeah. He's definitely going to have to try to be fast and, you know, not let Juggernaut hit him. Yeah. You know, try to... Don't try to stop him, you know? Don't try to sit there and hold him, because that's just really going to, you know, s suck a lot of Hulk's strength. You know, it's going to sap a lot of it. Sidestep him, get out of his way, you know, give him a nice shot to the liver or something. Um, he would need to probably try to step up to maybe World Breaker Hulk or World F. World War Hulk. World War Hulk, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, other than that, I mean... Sorry, I'm, I know I'm supposed to make the argument, but... I mean, this is the only one thing I'll add to it, is that Juggernaut is a trash talker. Oh, yeah, that was it. I yeah. Was like, really? There's something I'm forgetting. I'll add that one part, yeah. He stops to talk trash. Yeah. And it's just like that, you know, Hulk... Like, we've all seen him do it in the yeah. comics and the movie. The joke has been made countless times where Hulk is being kind of defeated by a stronger character yeah he's getting taunted and they get he get and they always say something like i guess you're not that strong or something hulk's just like what hulk strongest there is you know and he freaks out yeah that is another thing i think you know juggernaut taking that time to sit there and taunt him is gonna make hulk even matter and as we all know the matter he gets the stronger he gets yep and there is no limit to his rage there as we all know there just isn't which means there is no limit to how strong he is. It was crazy to find in the Infinity War that Hulk wasn't uh, all quick, kind of scared away. Because I was like, that's not Hulk. Hulk would be that ego. Like, he would be mad that he would want to go another round. And he yeah. would want to take him down this time. Like, that would be I, I, I the storyline. I was definitely disappointed to, uh, to not see that fight. Because yeah. I, I did. I wanted to see him fight Thanos again. Yeah, dude, it would have been, it was going to be a great round, and I honestly would have thought they could have gone against each other. And then, maybe at the end, you could have used the stone and tossed Hulk to the yeah. other side or something like that. I would have, it would have made sense. But to put him away in one of the biggest movies, just so you can get more of an Eric Banner, I mean, sorry, not Eric Banner, uh, Bruce, Bruce Banner, Banner. sorry, um, as a regular character in a Hulk buster suit, I was yeah. It's a no for me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sidetrack. <laughs> <laughs> but just as, just as like a as an add-on. But yeah, so the the stopping to taunt the Hulk would definitely be a huge mistake. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing about Juggernaut is I I got to give that credit because Juggernaut is a trash talker. Yeah. And he would he would taunt Hulk and Hulk yeah. does get more matter. He doesn't stop getting matter. He continues to get matter. There's no limit to his rage. With Juggernaut, you got the unstoppable moving force, but that's only if he's moving, if he's in motion, if he's building the momentum. Yeah. With you know, Hulk would definitely need to find a way to, to slow Juggernaut. You know. Yeah. I don't know, maybe drop him in some cement or some tar. You yeah, know? you know, yeah, so yeah. It doesn't need to fully stop him. You know, just slow him down. Yeah. I mean, you can. There's a there's a ton of directions you can go when it comes to a big guy. Maybe throw some flash grenade lights at him maybe yeah. he gets a little blinded distorted uh, keep yeah. him like a little bit out of the out of his like way of focus just keep him on and then just maybe Hulk goes and hits him a couple times here and there with the rocks and it keeps a little juggernaut a little distorted who knows there could be that possibility because juggernaut once he moves that's where it becomes more trickier yeah the, if he stops for a moment after beating him down and has Hulk like on the ground and he's like yeah he calms down once he's able to focus and he has a target and yeah. direction there's, there's really no stopping. yeah there's no stopping him so at the end of the day we've, we've made our case on how this would play out for Juggernaut to win it would have to be pretty much ripping limbs busting heads making him go back to being the, the typical Bruce Banner in order to really kill Hulk but for Hulk to beat Juggernaut it would be Juggernaut taunting Hulk for Hulk to get more angrier to the point where he knows that he's going to overwhelm and overpower Juggernaut as long as Juggernaut isn't in, in motion. We, I think that would be the case to be made. Yeah? Alright, so this is our finalist. We're going to put out for the next week or so your votes on what you guys think 
who would win this fight please watch this video before you make your decision because we're trying to make the best case possible that's correct yeah, so, but at the end, you guys will decide who would win this tournament. Yes, yes, so, you guys definitely decide. Your likes, comments, whatever. <laughs> yeah, anything we, anything you guys can toss, we'll appreciate. Uh, so we got Unstoppable Hulk. No, oh, sorry, Unstoppable Juggernaut, the Incredible Hulk. Who would win this one? As always, really appreciate you guys. Catch you guys later. Peace.